In September of 2013, the tactile renderer was demonstrated to the public at the National Museum of Scotland. Visitors to the museum were invited to explore the various methods for integrating touch into the museum environment, including the tactile renderer, and give their feedback on the methods. In this demonstration, the renderer was used to virtually recreate the surface of the Falkirk Tartan, a sample of Tartan from the 3rd century. This setup has the driving electronics and power supply stored between the two display cases. These components may be more completely hidden in a more permanent installation. The archaeological textile is protected within its display case. The projection from the monitor creates an overlay of the virtual textile above the archaeological textile. This intends to show the user both where the surface texture is within the virtual workspace as well as where the tactile display is within the space. By placing their finger on the display, visitors are able to feel the surface as they explore the workspace using the display. This overlay has the additional effect of illustrating what the textile may have looked like in its original state. Placed in front of the artifact is the tactile display, with a sign inviting visitors to try out the renderer setup. Many visitors were initially hesitant to try the device, but all those who wished to do so were able to with only minimal guidance. In addition to the virtual textile, other physical recreations were also present, produced by a variety of methods. For this artifact in particular, there was a 3D print of the artifact and a modern recreation of the textile. While feedback suggests that the users generally preferred the physical recreations, the tactile renderer has a number of advantages over the recreations, such as the flexibility and ease of transportation that makes this a preferable system in some circumstances.